In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this dynamic gradient stroke text effect inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, we're first just going to begin by creating a new text layer. So we'll go up to the T icon, which is the type tool, and then we'll type out a word or a phrase of your choice. Now from there, we're just going to position this roughly in the middle. Then we'll go to the character window and we'll change the font. You want to make sure this is a really thick, heavy font. So we'll make this black. And then you can change all of the other settings here. But once you're happy with that, we then just want to place this in the middle. Now, from here, we're just going to disable the fill and we're going to activate the stroke. So in order to activate the stroke, you want to select this box here, stroke color. Select the color of your choice. I'm going to go with white for now. And then we'll go back to the main fill color and we'll select no fill color. So we're going to turn that off. And then you can see we've got this really thin stroke. And to increase that, we can just increase this value here. Now, from here, you want to select the text layer. We'll right click and select create shapes from text. This one is really important. Now, from there, we'll go into that layer. So Brooker outlines. We'll go to add and we want to select trim paths. Go into trim paths and then we want to pull the end all the way down to zero. Create a brand new keyframe on end at zero. We'll move roughly five seconds over and we'll pull that all the way up to 100%. So when we play this back, this is our stroke animation now coming in. Now, if you wanted to create even more animation here, then we can go to the very beginning. We can create a brand new keyframe on offset at zero, go through to the end, and we'll just pull that all the way around to a higher number. Now, when we play this back, you can see there is this really dynamic text animation happening. So that would be the stroke animation part now complete. Now we can dress this up and make this look really nice. So I'm just going to close this down. We'll go to effects, and I'm going to search for four color gradient. Drop that on to the shape layer, the Brooker shape layer, and we can change our colors. So I'm going to go for a nice blue, purpley, pink color palette here. There we go. That looks great. And we're just going to move all of these points closer into the text. Now we'll scroll through to the very beginning, create a brand new keyframe on point one, color one. Point two, color two, and all of these are options here. We'll scroll three seconds in, and we're going to change the color of this. So we're going to keep it to that pinky, purpley, cold color palette, but we're just going to shift the tones a little bit. So if something was pink, it's now blue. If something was blue, it's now going towards pink again. The reason why we're doing this is we want this animation to have a nice gradient. Now at that three second mark, you also want to move all of those different points as well. So we're just gonna move these around. And when we open this up, we can go into effects, four color gradient, position and colors. We're going to highlight all of those keyframes, copy those, move over to six and paste those in. So we've got this nice gradient effect happening. Now from here, I'm just going to select S on the keyboard just to bring the scale down a pinch. And then I'm going to copy and paste this. So Command C, Command V. We'll go to the layer beneath that and we're just going to pull this down like this. Now we are just going to select that layer. We'll right click, select pre-compose, press OK on that. And then we're just going to draw a mask around the bottom half of that because this is going to be our reflection. Now we'll select inverted, go down into the mask and increase the mask feather to a higher number. And then we'll go into effects and presets and search for Gaussian blur. Drop that onto that pre-comp and we're just going to increase that to a higher number. So I'm gonna to go to around seven to begin with. I need to go much further than that. Let's go up to around 30. And then we'll just press T on the keyboard to load opacity and we'll just pull the opacity down. So as you can see, we've got the text animating arm. We've got the really nice gradient and you can see we've got this reflection effect now happening. 
There's only one more thing that I want to do to this and that is to add a glur. So I'm just going to select both of those layers. We'll right click and select pre-compose. We can rename this. Now we'll go into effects and presets, search for glow, drop that onto that new pre-comp. And as you can see, that's completely ruined it, but don't worry, we're gonna change a few settings here. We're going to increase the glow radius, so it's gonna make it bigger. Then we can just increase the glow threshold somewhere around 80, 90, just so that it's a little bit of a glow, but not too much. You can see this is it off and this is it on. So it's just adding a little bit. We don't want this to be too intense. And then of course you can always adjust the glow intensity as well. And we're just gonna change one more setting that is going to be composite original non. And now we can just render this out and we can play this back and we should have this really cool dynamic stroke gradient reflection text effect inside of Adobe After Effects.